to Hale Hockey Club. Whistle goes, push back goes to Kima Harrison playing the 100th and his first pass is to his fellow 100th centurion, Riley Folds. Josh White plays that one up the side. Trying to keep it in play is Nelson. He's done really well. Nelson gets the right side of the defender, plays it across, and what a finish at the back post from Kieran Brook. That's cut out well, and a surge through the midfield. Good run from Matt Bird. Is it Bird? I'm across the face of goal. Good save, Jared Greek. Sweat clear. Still alive for Fremantle, though. Inside the circle, over the bar it goes. Break forward now, Braden King across the face of goal, and Flynn was there, so too was Hayden Belts. Hayden Belts stopped by Tim Deven, edge of the circle. His clearance goes to Faulkner, into the circle it goes, looking for Flynn. Flynn steals it away from McCormack, and uh, oh, yeah. Well, claim it's gone off the foot of Flynn. Fred Gray goes short to Benji Austin. Flynn. Oh, he got round the defender and upended as well. But great covering defence by Gobin Gill. McCulloch again feeds it to Norman. Norman looked to try and spin then. It's going to fall for Flint. Flint evades the defender off the... Well, just the wrong side of the post. Well, that was a needless tackle from Henry. Just went through the back of Benji Austin. Collected by McCulloch. Closed down by Riley Folds. Penalty corner won by McCulloch. First penalty corner of the match. Sec it's, yeah, it's second battery. They go to McCulloch. Flick slow. Good save. That's a good save by Rory Lester. But in it goes. And they've got to go back. Corey Weir. Nelson to Bird again. Oh, lovely dummy by Gill. Nelson. Free hit just outside. Gobin Gorb Gill gets on with it quickly. Takes it into the circle at the baseline. Plays it back. It'll come to Bird. Bird swivels. Clearance goes straight to Bird again. And Austin gets a stick in the calf for his troubles. Good block again by Benji Austin. Matt Bird. And it's in the bottom corner. And Fremantle have the lead again. Drilled forward. Oh, a lovely turn from Nelson. And Blake Wallace wondered where he'd gone. And now Bird and Wallace have a few words. Uh, Tim Deven always loves to get up for this game. Drills that one forward and it's gone off the stick into the shins of Asger Wade. So first penalty corner now for Fremantle. Trapped. Back to Deven. Good tackle coming in that time by Hayden Belts. But then infield it went, and it's been stolen by Fremantle Coburn. Chance for the shot across the goal. It goes from Henry. Only four minutes gone. Lovely turn from McCulloch. Oh, he lifted that one, and it's gone over the goal and out of the arena. Harrison Kima to Riley Folds. And Nelson just caught by Corey Weir. And it's going to be a card, a green card for Corey Weir. Throw into the air, Fansel will bring that down. McPherson giving chase, Fansel faced with White. Little bump from White, Fansel keeps going, pulls it back, kicked away. Good work by Rory Lester. Fred Gray, shaped as if he was going to hit it in, then reverse stick it. Is it going to go through? No, it's good defence by Matt Bird. And Corey Weir eventually gets the free hit off Fraser Gilly and there's a little bit of space as Hayden Belts gets it under control Benji Austin's inside the circle he got a touch well if that had gone in it would have been a brilliant finish by Austin Jeff Cock is second with seven Fred Gray That's lifted up into Gray collision between Brooke and Folds as Flynn breaks forward Flynn still keeps possession good recovery Josh White, Flint, two players there, dinks it through the legs. Norman shoots on the turn. Ricochet goes up in the air off the Fremantle stick. No whistle. Deemed not dangerous. And now Fremantle Coburn break through the middle. It's a good pass, picking out Jazz Henry. 
into the circle come Fremantle Coburn. Looking for the reverse stick shot, deflected towards goal. Off the defender, that was off Wallace's stick. Nelson shows a lot of the ball to King, but then manages to keep it on the end of his stick. Squeezes it forward, great ball to Brook. Trying to feed it forward in turn, and oh! Liam Flynn now breaking forward, McCormack low down. Flynn checks, and he was caught, was he? He will get the free hit, and it's followed up, and McCormack now getting involved when there was no need for that. Charlie Norman brings it down. Overlap to McCulloch, who got that really well. It was a Yorker on his feet. Deven chasing him back. McCulloch across the face of goal, and unfortunately for Hale, Fred Gray couldn't get the touch. He's trying to keep the ball in play, does well. Intercepted again by McCulloch, feeds it to Norman. Norman tries to feed it back, good pass to Gray. Squared again, it's broken for Flynn, it'll go to the back post. Desperation from Gilly. Corey Weehan out. Braden King into the circle, it goes, looks for the deflection. Oh, Liam Flynn has got the touch. And with that goal, he breaks the Hockey WA record for the most goals in a season, dating back to the 1950s. 48 goals so far this season to Liam Flint. Jorgensen being told to take it back. And, well, that's a penalty corner. Deven certainly coming in. Umpire at that end was probably closer to the action and far better to chart. They've reversed it, though. In that they have to play Melville and they have to play UWA. The two teams... Currently above Hale. Aiden Bouts kept that in play, feeds it back and penalty corner for Sam McCulloch. And it goes to Hrobelar and it's gone off the keeper and in and Hale take the lead for the first time in the match. And as I say, this game has got a bit of bite to it. Bird bangs it towards goal. Asger Wade got the touch. Comes to him again. Tries to take on Matt Bird. Well, that was a clear free hit. Oh, my goodness me. Well, maybe they are Jackson Gettys. It just depends whether Mark Keating will listen. And they have reversed it. It is a free hit out, and Fremantle now are upset. Plays it to McPherson. That's a great pass. Harrison Kima looks up as he drives forward, feeds it infield to Bird. Bird into the circle. Kima. And just wide, Fred Gray goes wide to Jorgensen. Jorgensen's got space to carry it forward. Jorgensen approaches the D, squares it down. It's gone across the face of goal. Flynn got a touch. And, well, you would think that that should be a penalty corner. And slams it into his brother-in-law. Nelson collects just outside the circle. He's now inside the circle. Drives towards the baseline, turns onto his forehand. Good defence by Wallace. Good covering defence in the end coming from Braden King. Stolen away though. Bird into the circle, looking for a foot. Again, Corey Weir does very well. Keeps his feet out of the way. Fansal loses out to McPherson. Wallace again. Oh. That's a free hit to Blake Wallace. Jimmy McPherson. Helping Wallace up. McCulloch has been tireless today. What a pass that is from Gobin Gilt to pick out McPherson. In turn, he finds Spencer across the goal. It goes. Jared Crick with a sharp save at his near post. Josh White now drives it in and the deflection towards goal. Off target that time from Matt Edgar. Now McPherson pulls away from Flint. Gobin Gill, he's going to keep that in play just outside the circle. Into the circle he goes, fires it across the deep. No whistle, good defensive play by Matt Fansell. And Braden King was under the ball. Josh White didn't like the decision. McCulloch brings it down. That's got to be, that's got to be a penalty corner. Can Flynn seal the match for Hale? It's a good trap. Flynn, oh, it's a brilliant block by Tim Deven. McCormack now carries it over the 23. Flynn looks to close him down. McCormack, oh dear. It needed to be on the deck and it just bobbled past Jimmy McPherson. 
And the hooter goes, and it is Hale with a famous come from behind victory. Their first victory over Fremantle since April 2021. And Liam Flynn becomes the highest goal scorer in the history of men's Premier League hockey, certainly going back to the 1950s as he scored his 48th goal of the season. And what a vital goal it proved to be.